I done finished cooking my little pork chops. So now we're going to... Um, we're going to pick up with the cabaret. Y'all know how I like to do it. Welcome to Vegas, baby. Why don't you come and pay me? Baby, listen. I still ain't learned all the words, y'all. And I probably ain't going to learn all the words. um, Because I'm really... Child, I, I'm really kind of getting tired of this. um, And this foolery that be going on with this cabaret. So I really think this episode right here was the filler episode. Y'all know reality TV. We always get... Depending on how long the season is, one or two filler episodes where it really don't be nothing too much going on. But we needed to have an episode right here. Because we don't want to rush the drama. That's what this one was for me. That's what it felt like <clears throat> for me, the filler episode. So, of course, they back in the house. Um, Jocelyn talking to Ballistic. And she's telling Ballistic she don't know what happened, what's going on. Why it got so out of control? She feel like you know what I'm saying. She finally where she wanted to be, and these go these hoes about to mess it up. Okay, and so <laughs> y'all, but let's just say how many fights was it? And she said, I don't know, but um, dragon bread, dry, dry, dragon face, all them the same person. She got in a fight with everybody, and I was like, not dragon bread. She said how she lost. And she had the dragon breast. She's supposed to. <laughs> Y'all, I been... What went that worked on my nerves? But after last weekend, how they did it, I ain't gonna lie. I feel sorry for wet wet, y'all. I really do. I really do. But baby, that was funny to me. I don't care what nobody said. That was hilarious. It did. Oh. But let's to come back and say, uh, what is this supposed to finish her or something like that? And I'm like, no, not Mortal Kombat, finish him with the dragon, bro. <laughs> she was like, Jocelyn said, I'd have been throwing my, my dragon bread at everybody. <gasps> Y'all, I don't know why that took me out, but it did. It did. I was laughing. I was like, that's fucked up. But that also let me know, too, that Jocelyn don't really see it for wet wet you know what i'm saying like i don't know like because she didn't have to get in the confessional and tell us that wet wet ain't had a breeze service service in four years and got gingivitis and stuff up in in her mouth like she didn't have to do that she didn't have to do it it ain't right i don't like it but she said you know she feel like it's been too much pressure on the girls so she said ballistic they're gonna go ahead on and um have a pool party or whatever so you see a couple of the girls around the house. They talking. Um, okay, Capri Six Three was sitting there with Black Diamond and um, I keep wanting to call this girl Riri, but that ain't her name. Raven sitting there with um Black Diamond and Raven, and she was talking about I'm gonna be good. You know, Jocelyn said no fighting, so I ain't gonna fight. And Black Diamond let her know that Amber or Lollipop said something that she said sh they can't dance. And then she was like, I didn't say that, but you can call them. You can call them right in front of me or whatever. And I say what I say and get them to say what they say, yada, yada, yada. So then they do all of that. They talk about that. Then we see this stage scene between Lexi Blue and Chanel. And Chanel was like, you know, I really just wanted to see what they had going on and what they was doing. And now I know what I need to bring. And I'm like, go ahead, Chanel. Keep a good idea about it. Because me personally, I'd have been deuces. I'd have chucked up the deuces. I'd have been done. I'd have been gone, this cavalry. Because I done already went through this once. I don't feel like her, her once again, her and Lexi Blow should have had to try out. You know what I'm saying? They done already did this already. You know what I'm saying? Like, they should have been helping Jocelyn, like, giving um, points. Like, yeah, Jocelyn, she good. Or, did you see her do that? Or, she stumbled over here or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Because that's what I would have thought my position would have been not to come here and compete when I've already competed. You want me to do what? Oh, no, I'm on. I'm, I'm not going through that again. I'm not going through that again. I would have left. But she gonna take the high road about it. Chanel says she's not, I mean, Lexi Blue says she's not really sure how to take Chanel and, and yada, yada, yada. And I mean, like, at the end of the day, y'all done already said y'all wasn't friends like that on last season. So, 
I don't even understand why y'all making a big deal about it. Y'all can keep it cordial and be on some. We was here from season two. So, you know, we're going to try to stick together and be the captains. And other than that, we're going to keep it moving. Lollipop comes in and she starts talking to them. And she's telling them she's really concerned about wet, wet. She really like wet, wet. Which that lets me know, you know what I'm saying? She's like, wet, wet, the only one she really care about. Which lets me know that's why she was happy with wet through that, compa that, um, that Red Bull can. A.K.A. Capri. Like, I was trying to pronounce K.N.A. Capri at the same time. That campaign. But anyway, so that's why she was happy about that. And I'm like, okay, they must have was talking somewhere, but we didn't see on the camera, because what? I mean, not that Wei can't have a friend. It's just, you never saw this interaction to say it, you know, to make it make sense in your head. So she was like, I feel like we should call her. Let's call her. So they call her, they all three standing around the FaceTime talking to her, asking how she doing. She's like, of course, because I'm wet, wet, never thirsty, always wet. And she got her titties out. And I'm saying, like, she got to be doing this shit for the cameras. You know what I'm saying? Because who the fuck answer that phone with their titties out? I mean, you know, unless you're doing it for your man or something. You know what I'm saying? But who does this like you? Girl, we done already seen them starch, them city, them city so starch, baby. She done went to the cleaners and got her, uh, got her boobs done. Because them things, stiff, stiff, stiff. Y'all know how when you have them jeans that's so starch from the cleaners, you got to put your arms through there because they're so tight. That's how the hell them titties look. And I'm tired of seeing them basketball, stucco, stiff-ass titties. I'm tired of, I'm tired, Amber, not Amber, wet, wet. Put them up. We done seen them. We understand that Paris and London is new, but Paris and London need a goddamn nap. They need a nap. They need to rest. So maybe they can drop and settle or something so you can look supple and plush and soft like a woman's supposed to look. I'm just saying. But I'm glad she all right. She still got her spirits and her confidence about it. You know what I'm saying? So sh that's all that matters. You know what I'm saying? Even though I don't like her, even though she worked... My last nerves with that wet, wet, that yes, that impress. I'm glad to see that she ain't let them hoes break her spirit. I ain't gonna lie, wet, wet, that kind of got me on, on your side. I mean, you ain't my favorite or nothing, but you coming out the dislike category. Okay, so then we move on, um, and we're at the pool party, and baby, I see why Jocelyn say, it's some hoes in this house, it's some hoes in this house, it's some hoes in this house. Baby, and she one of them holes in that house, okay? Baby, Ballistic was pouring all the girls' shots. We were, um, Amber said she was going to cook. They're like, baby, you know how to cook. And let me tell you something. My mama and them always told me, you don't eat everybody cooking. And see, Amber, her spirit too nasty for me to eat more of her food. I'd have had to do dash me something because, mm-mm. I, I wouldn't have ate her food. I wouldn't have ate her food because she, she uh-uh. I just don't like her, so I wouldn't have ate her food. But she passing out food to people as she cooking and she done um, enlisted Hennessy to be her little co-chef, co-pilot, assistant chef, whatever you want to call it, helper, kitchen helper, whatever. Baby, she done made the lamb chops, the pasta, some chicken, some something else. So they back and forth, her and Hennessy, um, between the pool and the kitchen cooking. All right, cool. But I mean, the girls was tearing it up. But y'all, I got to wonder. Was the food really that good? Like Lexi, not Lexi, yeah, Lexi Blow said that Amber food was really good. And if she had an event, she would be able to cook for her food. But y'all, y'all, y'all know how when you be smoking and you be drinking, and this is no shade to Amber. You know what I'm saying? If the food was good, it was good. I would eat her food just because I'm not eating from somebody I don't like. Um, and that's just me. But you know how when you be drinking and you drunk, and you been smoking, and you high, and the food tastes like extra, extra good, because you really be needing, you really be needing that food. I'm wondering, was the food really that good, or was that the case, or could it have been a combination of both, right? But well, baby, they was eating, they was smoking, and every time you turn around, you see ballistic filling it up, filling it up, filling it up for the girls with the shots, and I'm like, all right, cool, I guess. Baby, but the next thing you know, they were sitting all on each other, head shaking and moving. Then bathing suit sock cup coming off. I was like, oh, okay, all right. 
There's some whores in this house. There's some whores in this house. I love it. I mean, be free. Be free. Let your titties hang. Let them swing. I just just hope I'm so, and Listen, I don't know if they all had boob jobs, but they all were sitting um, up, right? So some of them was natural. Some of them, like, Raven had some, like, lines on her. I don't know if that was from the bathing suit or if that was a surgery mark. I don't know too many people that had their boobs done, so... You know what I'm saying? I don't know. But, oh, sorry, y'all. My eye is itching. But they looked like they was having a good time. It was peaceful. Baby Jocelyn was been there busted open. All the girls was been there busted open, okay? They was all shaking it everywhere, baby. But wouldn't nobody would have put their coochie on my forehead and talk about shaking it because I'd have punched them right in their cape. I'd have punched them right in their cape. If you don't get your cat off my head, but they was having fun. They like it. I love it. And let me tell y'all what I love. Now, I know there's some girls on there with their body done. There's some girls on there clearly um, their body ain't done because, you know, they got a little bit of everything. But they proportionate, right? They proportionate to their body. But can I just tell y'all how I appreciated seeing um, the cellulites? <laughs> I know y'all gonna think I'm crazy. The cellulites. And Lex did blow thighs. I was like, okay, Lex did blow. That's all you. You know what I'm saying? Like, and in her butt, you can see the dimples. I'm like, real booty meat, real thigh meat, the, the ratio match. And y'all, listen, I'm just saying that because I'm so tired of seeing these bodies where you have, what? A butt this big, right? A butt this big on a, on a thigh this big. It just don't look right. You know what I'm saying? So, I was glad to see that. I was glad to see proportionate and real bodies. You know what I'm saying? Um, so I was happy for that. And then, of course, after that, you know, they eating everybody. Like I said, once again, everybody talking about how good the food is. They go in. Jocelyn go in the house. She's sitting in what's, I guess, supposed to be the practice area because they got a little pool and stuff there, right? And so Black Diamond and Raven come up in there and then here's where i have the problem so justin like what they want you know what i'm saying what these hoes want because they already told me they was the broke down kardashians or whatever because raven and black diamond came together they best friends raven like i came because black diamond came so they're telling jocelyn about what was supposedly said between amber and lollipop and k capri and she trying to figure it out so first she called amber in and here's this is why I don't like Amber. Amber thinks she's a fucking bully. But y'all also show pussy too. You know what I'm saying? Raven and Black Diamond. Like y'all did all of that to wet wet. But Amber straight got in y'all face and said, bitch, what's happening? I'll fight y'all with y'all three hands. You got one and you got two. Let's go. Say your best friend jump up right now. But... but First of all, when she walked up on y'all raving and your friend arm in a sling, you know she messed up. The same way you went jump on Wet Wet because Black Diamond was in there is the same way you should have pushed your friend to the side and knocked that whore in her mouth. I'm sick of Amber. I'm sick of her with all of this. You, you broke, you broke, you broke, you broke. You couldn't do this. You couldn't do that. Amber, I ain't seen you do that. not a crab cake. Not a, not a daiquiri, not a, oh, uh, hell, what they got in Vegas? You ain't even DoDash, do a fucking casino to come to the house. They, should, they probably got DoDash gambling around there. DoDash from the dispensary. We ain't seen you DoDash, not a motherfucking thing. You talking about, oh, because you could buy some weed? Oh, you was over there crying because your credit card declined or whatever. You done maxed out your $5,000 credit card. And Raven was like, not my credit card, my debit card. I have other credit cards. You don't even know me. You don't know what you're talking about. You know what I'm saying? Like, I have good credit. What is what is you talking about? Or whatever. Then K. Capri come in. And she, I don't know what she says. Baby, listen, I don't know. The, from the bird, a little birdie told to the seed on the fly on the wall or whatever the fuck it was. It sounded like she made up some stuff. But she was like, she did that. Look, like, I was drunk. I don't directly remember. But this is what was said. Now didn't say this. Lollipop was basically on some. She don't fuck about none of this shit. And that's how it happened. The biggest part of anything was Amber. I don't like you bitches and I don't like you bitches. Like, Amber really felt like 
She is that bitch. And I really want somebody to knock this hoe off her motherfucking pedestal. I am sick of this bitch. Amber, your shake stiff. Your hair, your weave be stiff. Your face is stiff. You, you just all around, you just not it. You know what I'm saying? Your mouth don't do nothing but wolf. Wolf, you give me back home, them hoes be beating you up, and now you got a chance to be out here and make people feel like you it. That's what you give. I'm sick of you. I'm sick of you and your mouth. And I want somebody, I like, and I know we not supposed to advocate for violence, but I want somebody to punch you in your shit. Because you, you gonna walk up on the wrong girl in that house, or in life one day, or up in the world with that wolf ticket. And somebody ain't gonna even have no words to go back and forth with you, Raven. Really. Like, I don't even wanna do it. Black Diamond, like, bitch, I'm gonna see you at the reunion. Girl, listen, is this your elbow sprain? Mom, my elbow and my other elbow and my fist and my feet. Girl, girl y'all remember Chang Lee? Off of Street Fighter? That's how to kick Amber in her mouth. I'm sick of her. Oh, dog mouth ass. That's what I, That's what the fuck she look like. Her mouth look just like a fucking chihuahua. I can't, I can't stand her. She work on my fucking nerves. She did not deserve to be in that cabaret. And Amber, let me tell you something. While you got your head big and puffed up because Jocelyn let you be in the cabaret, understand this. You're only in the cabaret because she wanted to fucking stick it to Chanel. You were not better than Chanel. You did not shake better than Chanel. You did not shake better than Raven. You did not shake better than Diamond. You did not shake better than Kate Capri. Um, I can't even think of who else was sitting in the crowd. You know what I'm saying? Hell, truth be told, if if uh, Gaia would have put some finger waves on that cooch and wouldn't have been crazy, you know what I'm saying? You wasn't even better than her. You do not deserve to be in the cabaret, period. Your attitude is nasty. Your shaking is flawed. Like I said, bitch, you couldn't even dance for Big Frida. Big Frida would have told you, you gotta go. Girl, I done seen three-year-olds in a project shake better than you, mom. Why you walking around here like you that girl, man? Let me let me move on from her, because I, I, y'all, I don't like her. And Jocelyn let them know she got her hair and makeup team for the, for the five girls who she picked, they coming tomorrow. Make sure y'all have y'all dresses and everything for the red carpet. Did you get them? She got to go pick up the costumes. Y'all better be ready. She, Y'all better look right because she letting y'all use her glam team that she used. And at 12 o'clock when it's her time to get her glam, you hoes better be up early, ready, and done. Because, baby, let me tell you something. If if When it's time for the, the princess, the queen, um, Jocelyn Hernandez, the Puerto Rican princess, to get her glam done, um, y'all getting put out the chair. So I hope y'all set y'all alarms, be early, do your yoga, your meditation, or whatever, whatever, and be done. So by the time Jocelyn is there, whatever, whatever, Jocelyn was like, you other girls gonna stay here because I can't trust that y'all not gonna be hating and this, that, and the third on the other girls. And um, Capri was like, listen, I wasn't hating on them. I wasn't mad at them. I was mad at myself because I didn't do my best. The other girls was like, shit, I told some of them. Hey, congratulations, congratulations, congratulations. So the other girl said she want to go. Jocelyn, like, she asked the girls who won, how many of them would want the other girls to come for the performance that sold out or whatever. So, she, you know, a few of them raised their hand. And she's like, oh, y'all want them to go so y'all can kind of lord it over them that they want. And I mean, listen, I ain't mad. I let them all come. Let them come see us do what we do. I mean, if it's part of the competition, you know, like any other show, but it's a competition, you get a prize. You know, the people who win this activity get some kind of prize over the other people. So, bam, there you go. Jocelyn said she was going to think about it. She going to be When she go to bed, wet, wet comes in the house and she's like, oh, here we go, dragon breath, da, 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 da. And... She asked her where she was, if she was all right, what she had been doing. And she was like, you know, I'm cooling. You know what I'm saying? I'm cool. They ain't going to let me get it down like I told you. They, 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 they ain't get me down. She like this bitch. Jocelyn like this bitch delusional. And I'm like, nah, she not delusional. You know what I'm saying? She not delusional. She looking at it from the simple fact of I really ain't did nothing but talk about myself, show my titties, and these hoes is mad. Just like I said on last week, y'all made her feel like she was that girl. Because y'all were pressed. And y'all were every bit of Panini press that she said y'all was. Go ahead on and go over to Panera Bread. Because y'all Panini pressed, okay? 
Go ahead on over to Quiznos and wherever else serves paninis and put your ass on the shelf. Because that's what the fuck y'all are. Panini special. London and Paris pressed. The Las Vegas special. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? But that's what y'all was. And when Jocelyn asked her how she fit, she said, like, I'm that bitch. And she shook, because she got all of them in that shook. She, she opened her mouth, except for the, say she, wet, wet, never dry, because never thirsty, because she's always wet, wet. This is what she literally did the whole time. And y'all mad. Y'all mad. Whatever trash she talked, we ain't seen it, so I can't see but based on that, y'all really are pressed because y'all letting her get under y'all schedule. I just be ripping the piss out of her, me personally. You know what I'm saying? But ah, she would aggravate me to the point where I'm going to fight her unless she said some disrespectful stuff to me. Like, you can't Capri mad about the damn pictures being taken or whatever the hell she posting, getting her followers up on IG or wherever the hell she posting them, TikTok, wherever. If production ain't telling nothing about it and put her off the show, then what the hell you mad for? It ain't your damn show. I'm just saying. Um, so Justin asked her, you know, how you feel like you you gonna be all right coming in this house? She was like, I'm not worried about it. I'm not sweating. I'm over it. I'm moving on. Da, 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 da. Justin was like, well, okay. She let her come back in the house and she go back to sleep and that's how I go off. Um, at this point, I really hope they leave that girl alone. I really hope they leave that girl alone because it's old. The, 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 everybody wanting to jump on wet, wet, and being, wet, wet, being on wet, wet, that shit's stale. That shit's stale. Um, now, let me draw some attention. I know y'all think I um, skipped over it, but Black Diamond, I don't care what hood you grow up in. I don't care how many um, black friends you have. I don't care if you're men, you're cheering daddy, whatever. Being black. I don't care how many black penises you've had in your mouth or in your vagina. You, you ma'am, you done said nigga one too many times for me. So you on my shit list. Because no ma'am, unacceptable. And I, Amber, while you was doing all that wolf ticket and wolf mouthing, you should have punched that hole in her mouth for nigga, 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 no ma'am, no, no spam, press ham. Like, nah, we not doing that. I don't care how many people told you you invited to the cookout, bitch. Don't ever let the word nigga come out your mouth because you not one. You not one. Well, I ain't one either. I don't believe in it. I'm black, period. But you ain't about to say it. I'm glad I wasn't in the house for the cabaret. Because I'd have, I, it wouldn't have had nothing to do with me. I would have heard Nick and I would have told your ass up. Well, how, how time it was, y'all? And you don't say it. Baby, I'd have, pulled, I'd have had to pull a Tammy Roman on them. I'd have had Tammy. We need you to head on to the cabaret and explain to these hoes why they can't use the word nigga. Somebody needed to correct her on that shit. Somebody. Somebody. It ain't cool, Black Diamond. You is not invited to the cookout. You do not have an honor of a black card. Sucking and fucking on black dick does not give you the right. Nor does dancing in front of black dick gives you the right. Nor does living in the hood because your mama couldn't afford to live nowhere else. So that's just where you chose to want to move. No, ma'am. Mm -mm. You can kiss my ass. I don't like it. You better not say it again. I hope you don't say it again because now I'm going to come find you on IG. You say that shit again and let you know. Bitch, you out of line. And whoever invited this hoe to the cookout, I hope the fuck y'all take her black card. Period. I don't care what you get your body to make like, how much collagen you get put in your lips, how much shit you get pumped up in your ass, fix a flat or whatever the fuck you put up in there. I don't care how many little baby, the baby, ooh baby songs you know. Nah, ma'am. Unacceptable. But of course, nobody said nothing about that and they let that ride. But I hope y'all don't leave, y'all y'all leave wet, wet alone, Okay. Let her continue to shake her titties because she's wet, wet. And let her have it. Y'all make her do it more because y'all pay more attention to she'll be like, oh, Lord, here she go again. After about the fourth or fifth day, I'll be like, I'll be to hand me some headphones. I'm not entertaining this whole Baby, I'll be the most anti-social bitch at the cabaret, okay? Because when it don't come, when it's, when we not dancing, I'm not here for none of this shit. I'm not here for none of you hoes. Bye, bye. And that's how I be. But that's it. That's all I got, y'all, because this was a filler. 
And really, we're going to see what next we give at this cabaret, baby. Look like Lollipop and um, Amber going to get into it. And Lollipop saying something about she got her money and she want her money with her trash bag. And baby, this is going to be too much. I'm not waiting to see that. And I hope Lollipop um, pops Amber. I, ain't lying. I hope somebody pops her soon. But y'all have a good one. See y'all for the next one.